Hey guys, my name is Bill. This is Yo-Yo Knows Tech. Today I want to take some time to look at a product that I have had for about a year now. It is a CNC router um, from a company called Inventables and it's called the Carvey. Now what makes the Carvey special is they have taken a tool which is normally meant to be in a shop and they have put it into an enclosure, into a unit that you can use in uh, your workshop, you can use it in your office, you can use it in your school, and it is much safer and is much cleaner and much quieter to help you take your project to the next level. So I'm going to show you a project I worked on today. Stay tuned. Over the last few years, with the invent of the maker movement and the maker community, so many tools have been taken from something that would be thousands of dollars and they've been brought down into a more manageable form. Not just in cost, but also in the way that we use them. Inventables makes another product called the X-Carve. And essentially what this is, is a big giant board with an XY axis on it and it moves a Dremel around to carve your projects out of whatever material you'd like. But they realize that not everybody has a shop or a proper dust collection or in general a place that they can use something like that. And that's why they came out with the concept of the carving. It's very similar and the concept behind it is to take this technology and pack it into something very much like a printer in which you could actually have inside in your office um, and is not going to have the same problems typically associated with one in your shop which is your dust and your noise and generally just not being able to work around it while it's going. So the Carvey is a completely self-contained unit with a CNC router mill built inside. So these are great for doing anything from engraving to carving out signs, making uh, cutting boards, fidget spinners are really popular with them to doing pretty much anything that you can think of that's going to need a precision computer guided tool to carve out of the material you're working in. So this can be letters and typeset, this can be simply carving out places for your electronics to fit in. Say you want to take an Arduino and you want to mount it in a case, you can perfectly carve that out of a piece of wood and make yourself a little enclosure to put it in there. You could also carve a plastic or acrylic cover for it and you can make some really nice cases. So as an example as a project that I did with the Carvey, I have this wall mounted case. Now I have a few of these I've done, there's a few different designs, some of them are on the wall already. But essentially what I did here is I used a, um, I used two pieces of plywood and I carved them out separately in order to create an enclosure. And let me show you here. So the tablet lifts out of it. And essentially this has been custom milled and custom designed to fit a charging block, a wireless charging block into the bottom. So if you can see here, I actually milled the whole thing out using the Carvey. And you can see the holes and everything on the back. And essentially the way this works is I put the wireless charger right in there, which fits flush. And then I mount that on the wall. And then the tablet, fits in here and the nice thing is is the magnetic backing from the wireless charger actually holds the tablet in when it's on the wall. So it sits there, it charges perfectly, but when somebody wants to actually access this tablet they can just walk up and pull it right off the wall. What I want to do today is take you through a really simple project and show you how uh, armed with Inventables free web-based software called Easel, you can import a graphic file or a logo into Easel and you can take it from that straight out to a carved sign that looks just like this. Really simple project, something that takes about two hours to do, but with the help of Carvey it's clean and it's safe, something that you can do in pretty much any environment. So let's take a look at that. So starting off, the first thing I did is went into the Carvey machine itself. And from here I actually used a bunch of little clamps that the Carvey unit comes with to secure uh, our material down to the board. And now Carvey comes with a bunch of different uh, size clamps so you can make sure you're getting a secure fit around the edges. And then of course there's the two built in in the corner here to clamp everything down. Now once everything is uh, fully clamped down, we're going to close up the door and we'll head over to Easel, which is the web-based software for, for actually importing our file. Now once in Easel, first thing I'm going to do is change our material and we're going to do two color HDPE. 
And then we'll check our bit and they're all color coded. We're using a 1 8 inch bit. And I'm just going to confirm our material here. It's 12 by 8 inches and it's 1 quarter inch depth. So once all that's set up, next thing we want to do is actually move into the uh, import feature. And we're going to import an image. So I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to go ahead and upload a file. I'll choose the Yo-Yo Nose logo here. And that gets uploaded to the website. And from here, we can play around with two settings. We've got smoothing, which kind of smooths out the size of the image. You can go completely rounded if you want. Back that out just a little bit here. And then you can play with threshold. And threshold just helps the image and how close it's getting to the edge. Um, I think that this one's going to be good probably right around, probably a little more than that. Let's do 30. And as long as your logo gets good, you go ahead and do import. And what that does is it drops our image right onto the workbed. And you can see on the left hand side there, you're actually getting a preview of what it's going to look like on the material. And on the right side, we can actually edit and you could work individually for each little component of it. Or here I'm just sizing the entire uh, Yo-Yo Nose logo. This slider here will allow us to, to affect the depth that it is going to cut in the material. I'm going to go just a little past an eighth of an inch and we can take a 3D view and kind of zoom around here to take a look at what it's going to look like, make sure we're seeing what we want. And if we go over here and hit the simulate button, it's actually going to show us the path that the tool will take while it cuts it out. And that's it. We hit carve. So guys, that's it for today. I hope that you uh, found this interesting. I hope that the Carby is maybe something that you find uh, would be a great addition to you. Obviously, I've got all the links below if you want to go and take a closer look at those and see if it is something you want to be using. Uh, if you haven't already, love it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out new content every week. Um, if you want to hit the little bell icon down there, you'll get notified as soon as they come out. If there's something you'd love to hear me talk about, Leave some comments below, and if not, guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you all next week.